GMS, I'm Brooklyn. And I'm Nolan. Let's get started with the news. PTO is hosting a Dine to Donate at Papa John's tomorrow, Tuesday, October 24th. Want to help the Greenwood Parent Asso Teacher Association get some dinner from Papa John's tomorrow. This week is Red Ribbon Week. Red Ribbon Week highlights the importance of living a drug, alcohol, tobacco, and vape-free life. There will be more information shared each day during announcements. Let's wear red this Wednesday to show we stand against drugs, alcohol, tobacco, and vaping. The Fall Parent Teacher Conferences will take place tomorrow, Tuesday, October 24th, and Wednesday, October 25th. Teachers reached out to your parents with information about signing up. Don't hesitate to email a teacher to set up a conference. Families interested in holiday assistance or holiday food baskets will need to contact Mrs. Badger. The deadline is today, October 23rd. Now it's time to head over to our interview of the week. This week we are featuring GMS nurse Mrs. Meyer. Take it away, Charlie. Good morning, GMS. I am Charlie here with our special Red Ribbon Week interview with GMS school nurse Miss Meyer. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, question one. Um, so this week we would like to discuss the dangers of vaping. Can you start by telling us what vaping is? Sure. Um, so vaping essentially simulates um, smoking or a cigarette. Mm. Um, it's typically taking like a battery operated device. Um, it will heat up a liquid, which turns it to an aerosol, which can then be inhaled. Um, and the average vape actually can contain um, enough nicotine for 20 cigarettes. Um, why do you think kids would vape? Um, a study has actually shown that the most common reason for both middle school and high school students starting to vape is usually because they have a friend um, that vapes. Yeah. What are the dangers of vaping? Well, there's a lot. Um, the first one would just be kind of the addiction, um, since it contains the nicotine. But there's a lot of harmful chemicals, um, heavy metal, metal particles. Um, some vapes contain things such as detergent, nail polish remover, antifreeze, just things that are very harmful for your lungs, your body. Um, and it can also cause like irreversible lung damage. How do you think a kid could get help to stop vaping? Uh, well, first you could find someone that you trust. You could find someone here in the school, a teacher, come to the clinic, a counselor. Um, there's also a lot of online uh, websites. Mm -hmm. There are, um, let's see, mobile apps, texting options. One here in Indiana is actually called um, Live Vape Free. And you can actually text in all caps Indiana um, to 873373. Um, it gives you free access to like counselors, other students your age that have kind of gone through that. So it's just a good outlet. Yeah. Um, thank you for coming on our show today, Nurse Meyer. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Have a great week. Now let's go back to the studio. Hello, welcome to Trending and Entertainment News, where we where we share weird stories and all things entertainment. I'm Trent. And I'm Aubrey. Let's begin. According to minor UK news, the Bermuda Triangle mystery has been solved. It's a mystery that has puzzled scientists for years, but one scientist believes he may finally know what's behind the Bermuda Triangle ship and plane disappearances. The Bermuda Triangle is an area of the North Atlantic Ocean near Bermuda, where several ships and even planes have disappeared over the years. Some claim that there are whirlpools hidden there, while others suggest aliens may be the blame for the disappearance. One expert claims that rocks explain the mystery. The rocks he's talking about have magnetite in them. This most, it's the most magnetic natural occurring material on the earth. The magnets may interfere with the ship and planes, including the navigations, helping lead their disappearance. Who knows? Maybe it still could be aliens. In entertainment news, here are some upcoming video game releases this week. City Skylines 2 PC October 24th, Just Dance 2024, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch on October 24th, Alan Wake 2 PlayStation, Xbox, PC October 27th, Ghostbusters Rise of 
The Ghost Sword, PlayStation VR 2 Quest, October 26, 2023. In movies released this week, Mike, Mike, a troubled security guard, starts a nighttime job at Freddy Fazbear Pizza, a once successful abandoned family in entertainment center where he discovered it four animatronic mascots, Freddy the Fazbear, Bonnie the Bunny, Chica the Chicken, and Foxy, I mean, and Fo yeah, Foxy the Pirate Fox. The Five Nights at Freddy, Fe Freddy movie comes out on October 7th, 27th. That's all for Top Trending. Let's go to a special segment with the Greenwood Police Department. All right, good morning, Greenwood Middle School. Uh, I'm Officer Eck with Greenwood Police, one of your uh, school resource officers. And with me here is Officer Burnett, also with the Greenwood Police Department. We're here to talk to you guys this morning about Red Ribbon Week. It's an exciting time uh, to be able to talk a little bit to you guys about the impact of drugs and the consequences they might have. Um, so, we're going to talk a little bit, um, ask a few questions, and have some answers for you, okay? So, AJ, if you want to go with the first question. Yeah, absolutely. We were asked, what exactly is a drug? Well, a drug's a substance that can change your personal mental state, your physical state. It can also affect the way your brain works, how you feel and behave, your understanding, your senses, and can also make you extremely unpredictable and dangerous. Right. Now, there's different kinds of drugs, obviously. Some of them are prescribed by your doctors, you know, um, to help with some ailments that you or your parents, uh, grandparents might be experiencing. So those, those are drugs that are often um, used to relieve certain conditions. The drugs that we're more concerned with on the street are the illegal substances, um, for example, marijuana, um, meth, cocaine, and so forth. Also, in that same category are those prescription drugs. Sometimes the painkillers are a really big um, problem um, in the wrong hands. So, um, AJ, I think we deal with just as many illegal prescribed um, substances as we do the other ones like marijuana and so forth, don't we? Absolutely. So those are, those are also very dangerous um, to have in the wrong hands. So uh, definitely want to stay away from those. Okay. So let's talk about the legal consequences of if you were to be caught in possession of um, an illegal substance without a prescription. Uh, AJ, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on with the legal consequences of that? Yeah, absolutely. So it's very possible that you could face jail time. Um, it's very possible that you can face a large fine. And along with the fine, also you have legal fees that could definitely put you in your finances in trouble. Right. So not only are there, you know, legal consequences to having that, you're going to, you know, if you guys, if a student was a student athlete, and playing on the basketball or football team or you know, soccer team or whatever it might be, um, you're likely to be kicked off of that team and not allowed to play any extracurricular activities for your school. So um, not only is there a legal standpoint, there is definitely a, a school standpoint also. Um, possessing anything in the school is obviously not only illegal, but it's against school policy. So you'll face um, consequences on both ends. So if you are in possession and get arrested for that possession of whatever it might be, um, you can go through the court system, but then the schools will also um, either suspend you or expel you um, and could keep you off of any sports teams as well. So the whole consequence of even possessing or taking part in um, 
using any kind of illegal drugs is is really quite serious when you look at the whole situation. Okay, so that's where we're at on that. Now, how do people get involved in even the thought of using illegal drugs? A lot of it, I think, um, AJ, is, is peer pressure. You know, peer, Absolutely. Peer pressure is um, brought on by your classmates, your friends. Um, explain to us a little bit about what peer pressure is. Yeah, so peer pressure is any type of pressure that you're feeling when someone pushes you to do something, whether it be to fit in, whether it be to please somebody. Um, and peer pressure can be a good thing, but it also could be a, a negative thing, Officer Rick. Absolutely. And I tell people all the time, everybody thinks that peer pressure is something that just you kids deal with. Um, that's not really true. We deal with peer pressure you know, every so often as well. I've got friends that might make bad choices and might ask me to do things that I just know morally I, I'm not going to do. So I've got to be able to stand up for my for what I believe in and walk away from that situation. You know, be strong-minded, stay true to your values, and, you know, most of your parents have taught you right from wrong, and the schools, the teachers have taught you you know, right from wrong, be able to stand up for your values and walk away from, you know, that temptation of doing something illegal or wrong that might get you in trouble. Um, like I said, it's, it's very prevalent at your age here in the middle school. It gets even worse, unfortunately, at the high school. Um, peer pressure can be um, pretty um, serious at the, at the high school. Um, because you're trying to fit in, and a lot of people will do things to just they know is wrong just to fit in with a certain group. So, um, again, just stick to your values and you know say no to those situations that you know you don't stand for. Okay. Anything else we have to say on that, Officer Burnett? What about talking to somebody who you trust if you feel pressured, Officer Rick? Well, the best way to get to some sort of resolution there would be to talk to somebody that you trust um, and value their opinions also. They can often help you, um, you know, guide you through that troubled time and maybe help you understand that your, um, your stance on that issue is, is valuable and probably more appropriate and then having to choose the other direction. So would you say that some good resources for that would be extended family, teachers, counselors, clergy, and maybe maybe your maybe coaches. Right. Any kind of role model is would be a good person to go to um, if you had a feeling that you're being pressured to do something that you're not supposed to do or that you know is wrong. Uh, reach out to people. That's that's the big thing. Um, Kind of lean on your friends, lean on those those people like Officer Burnett said, uh, a teacher, a counselor. That's what the counselors are here for, is to help guide you through some of those troubled times. And as you guys are starting to learn and grow more and more, you're still rather immature in some aspects. And that's why we have, you know, the counselors and um, other people, even us SROs, you guys should feel feel comfortable coming to us. Just pull us aside. If we're here, pull us aside and ask us to talk for just a few minutes. Any of us will be more than happy to help you through, you know, give you some guidance in, in anything that you need. So don't hesitate at all to contact us. If, if you're, if you know something's going on here at the school, if you know, you know, something bad's going to happen, be sure to speak up and say something to one of us or one of the counselors or one of the teachers um, so that we can help keep this school safe and keep the students safe also. Um, another question we get asked quite a bit, Officer Burnett, is I've got friends that are I know are using drugs and I feel like they're harming themselves and maybe getting a little too far into it. How do I report somebody? that even if it's a family member to 
how do I report them to the police so that I can maybe get them help? Well, obviously, first you want to share your observations with your family, see if they're seeing what you see. Right. If they agree, if they see and or agree that there's a problem, try to find out who's going to talk to that person about it. If there's, if, if they're still not willing to get help after talking with a family member or a friend, contact a substance abuse professional, mental health professional, doctor, guidance counselor, or clergy to help them speak with the individual. Those are all good answers. Um, what if, what if I know my friends are starting to smoke cigarettes or starting to vape? You know, that's something we see a lot here in the middle school and high school that kids are starting to experiment with things or, or maybe even some alcohol usage. Um, you know, those, all those things there can adversely affect your mindset also. Um, would it, would it be safe for me or wise of me to approach my friend and talk to them just individually about it and see, you know, why they're doing it and maybe try to convince them to stop doing it? Absolutely. I think that goes back to what we, what we talked to or spoke about a little bit earlier with the peer pressure, look for positive peer partners set limits and say no okay talk to someone talk to a trusted adult if you feel pressured right and i know you guys are going to hear from uh, the nursing staff also about the effects of of these substances on your body so we'll leave that to them but you know ultimately red red ribbon week is just about um you know awareness of drug abuse, alcohol abuse, and it's it's a really good week to sit down and talk to somebody about it. So if if you are experiencing something yourself, where you've you've fallen victim to um, experimenting with something, you know I would challenge you to uh, talk to somebody about that to get you a little bit of help because um, you know having a substance, whether it's alcohol or drugs, nicotine or vape or whatever it might be, to influence your behavior without a doctor's prescription is 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 pretty dangerous and um, it's just not real smart. So, again, Officer Burnett and here and I are here quite a bit during the days. Um, other officers are here. Feel free to talk to any of us about this. If you have any more questions regarding anything about this. You know, please feel free to, to talk to us about it. Or if you don't feel comfortable with us, talk to a counselor or teachers. You guys have a wealth of resources here in this building alone. Uh, that's everybody wants to see you guys succeed. Everybody's here to help you guys. So uh, feel free to reach out to any of us, your parents or whatever, to um, ask us any more questions regarding this. So I guess that's about it. That's about all the questions we have for today. Um, do you have anything else to add? I don't. I think we covered a, a right. wide variety of topics today. Should be good to go. So thank you guys for your time and, and have a good week. Good morning, GMS. This is GMS Sports for this week's home events for the week of October 23rd. On Thursday, October 26th, sixth grade girls basketball versus Indian Creek starting at 530. On Saturday, October 28th, 2023, girls basketball free clinic starting at 10 a.m. at GMS. That's all for the show. Have a great week, everybody.